It's time to learn, repair, and maintain everything coffee. Instructional videos brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com. Hi, I'm Todd with Whole Latte Love. We have Mark doing the camera today. Todd, what are we doing here? Well, we have the guys of titanium in front of us, and every once in a while we'll get a call from someone that says they push the coffee button, the grinder goes on, but it doesn't suck any beans through. They just look inside, maybe they'll see the beans moving a little bit, but so it doesn't suck the beans into the brew group, and uh, it won't brew. No coffee. No coffee. So that's <laughs> like no that. fun. Yeah. So that could be caused by basically one thing. Either well, two couple things. But either there's a serious problem with the grinder, which is not normal, mm -hmm. or the chute between the grinder and the brew group gets clogged. Now that could happen for a few reasons. Let's say you're using oily beans, and you've been using a while, and it's been working, but your burrs wear out a little bit. That could help clog up the grinder, or clog it actually the burrs themselves. So there's they get like smooth because the, the beans and the oil gets inside the burrs, or it could be that you're just grinding way too fine. Maybe you set it finer, um, and that's clogging it up. Because these grinders have set down like one or zero, or maybe even two, they can get really fine. So the object here is to show you how to get into here, clean the chute out, get your grind setting right, get the, make sure the grinder's calibrated right, and get you going again. So we're gonna use some tools and take some stuff apart, huh? Yeah, not big tools, though. Yeah, what do you got? I got a little one. <laughs> no uh, big I'll leave tools that right along. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the machine. Oh, we we'll always do that first. before we dig in. Yep. Remove the reservoir. Put it someplace hopefully where it won't tip over. And we'll look inside here. We have beans. Now, I set this one down to zero. I've been playing with it. So it's, it's pretty fine coffee in here now, which you'll see. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to remove the beans in here with my shot back. Obviously, the... Home vacuum cleaners will work fine too. Yeah. Now taking this, the bean hopper cover off here, mm -hmm. I like to do is take this, kind of put my fingers in here, then pull, tip it down, use lever action to pull it straight up. Okay. okay. Your key is to pull it straight up so you, you don't, don't break these little tabs. Right. Pushing back or forwards could break those. Yeah, don't wiggle, just straight, straight up. up. Okay. Now I'm going to take the whole top off the machine, even though you don't necessarily have to do that. You'll, you'll see in a little while what I mean. Just so we can see what's going on in there. Yeah, so you get a better view. Yeah. So I'm going to remove these two screws and take out this, the bypass doser chute. Okay. Then I'm going to take out the bean hopper. Doesn't matter where your settings are on this right now. And the reason I'm using a small screwdriver is, especially when you put them back in, it's really easy to strip these screws. And we don't want to do that. When you have a small screwdriver, you get a lot better feel for uh, how tight they are. Can't put an accidental amount of force on there. That you'd you'd have to work at it. Yep. Okay. So bean hopper just slides straight up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take these off. Put these in a location where I won't lose them. Mm -hmm. Some more beans in there. I'll vacuum those out. Okay. Pull off this little rubber piece here, mm -hmm. and actually put that into the bean hopper, so you don't forget about it later. Make a mess if you don't put that back in. Yeah, all the beans will drop, just okay. go all on the inside. Okay, to take the top off, we have to take these two screws out in the back here. These little black screws. And if it doesn't want to come out on its own, it doesn't fall out, don't pry it out, just kind of get that behind there a little bit, help you wedge it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this pulls right out. Uh, there's uh, some wires on here. So you can just kind of leave that hang or, or just take pull it. I'm going to pull off to get out of the way. Yeah. There's a little clip on this right there you got to push down on. Yep. And then it really pulls out. And those two go to the uh, cup forming mm -hmm. surface. Yep. And when it goes back together, it doesn't matter which way they go, it'll okay. work either way. Okay, now to, then you just pull the back off like this, and that'll come out of the way. Mm -hmm. And just for the fun of it, while we're in here, you can see some cool stuff. Oh, we get a tour too? Yeah, there's your okay. pump, your rapid steam boiler, mm -hmm. and your flow meter is right down in there. A little white thing. In there. Okay. Yeah, your grinder motor, your brew boiler, control board. And we'll talk about that solenoid valve later. But, anyways, back at it. Okay. So, we want to take the birds out here. Mm -hmm. So, just take this, this ring here with what looks like gears on it. Turn all the way counterclockwise till it stops. And it's, uh, it's, see, there's a little screw here. That should mm -hmm. stop right around there. 
if there's if the little tab underneath here breaks, this will go farther. But yeah. kind of bring it back here, and the and the burrs will pull out. Okay, so it is possible it could turn further than that if there's a broken little tab, which you won't see because it's under here. But yes. Yeah. So, but yeah. line up those screws is yeah. the trick. Line up the screws, and then you'll see this tab here mm -hmm. will line up with this opening here, and it'll pull straight up. Okay. Okay, now you see all the coffee in here. You actually see this is pretty fine. And then yep. there's a, if you, down in here, there's a, there's a hole here. That's the chute. Which, so so that travels through to... Yeah, I'll kind of, right. okay. Oh, okay you've got yeah. For demonstration purposes only. Uh -huh. So coffee goes through the, sh into the grinder here, through the chute, comes out the other side over here, mm -hmm. hits a little end switch where these wires go. When it hits that, it operates this, uh, this solenoid valve over here. Makes that sound. Mm -hmm. Now, if this gets clogged in here, that's shoot. So that's kind of the where shoot, it gets clogged. Up. Exactly. Won't come out. Won't hit the end switch. Won't brew. Okay. So that's how long the shoot is. And Gives an idea of what we got to clean out. And that can get packed in there pretty tight, right? It can. And once it starts to plug up, it can get yeah, it can be pretty tight. Okay. So they're backing these coffee out. Okay. Now I'm not going to take to take the time to do a full cleaning, but while you're in here. You know, clean all the coffee out of these, all the nooks and crannies here. Mm -hmm. And take a brush, you can clean off your birds in here. Mm -hmm. Whatever it takes to do it. Because those can get gummed up, especially if you're using oil yeah. beans. That yeah, kind of if you know oil beans, it'll, it can really get filled up. Okay, now let's turn the machine around. Okay. And we'll show you the front here. Pull the brew group out. I'm sure you know how to do that. Yeah. Push and pull. We're gonna get a look at the, where that chute empties, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now look it up in here. You see this this piece here? There's that door that opens up to mm -hmm. open up, let the coffee. Now, and this is a chute that'll get it'll get plugged up right here. Right. Okay. So what one thing you can do is where'd my brush go? Oh, it's right here. Okay. We got this nice little brush here. Uh, actually, sell these. Uh -huh. But anything that you, you get, can use the, a pipe cleaner yeah, or other whatever you can get in there. Yeah. Um, so what you can do is take that and just go right down the chute. You can just clean the thing out. Okay. Now if that's in the way there, the grinder will turn a little bit. See that? Put my mm -hmm. finger in the way. No. Okay. So you can get in there, clean it all out. Now if it's really plugged up, it's not going to clean that easy. Okay. So you're going to have to work at it if it's really bad. Might need something a little stiffer. Yeah, something like a maybe a paper clip. Open okay. that up. And. And now Stick you're going to, so I'm going to see where you're going to put this here, but I want to see okay, it's so backed up top. What right? you can do is take that, whoop, <laughs> there, awesome. hello, um, open the door, put your vacuum cleaner here. Okay. Okay. You're going to turn that on, and I want to see how it sucks through up top. Yeah. Here. So put some beans in, make sure there's plenty of coffee. And when I turn the vacuum cleaner on, you should see how it sucks it through. Yeah. And then what you can do is then work your, work your, your uh, brush inside this. Right. Yeah, well, that's like that. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, get some on the table. Put some of this off. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to assume that you're going to take your time and you're going to do a really nice job, yeah. and I'm going to put this back together. So assume I've done a great job, I've taken my time. Okay. Okay. Take your burr. Put it, so this, the, the part with the, uh, the paint on it faces, with your facing machine from the right, facing, facing machine from the front is to the right. Okay. Okay. Drop it in. Then take this gear here and turn it all the way till it stops. Okay. Then you may want to give it one, two clicks forward. That, that'll make it so if you go to really, really fine, you may not clog your grinder. That kind of cheating it just a little bit coarser. Okay. If you really want to get it fine, you can leave it all the way over. Okay. That, you get so be you careful. Trust. Yes. We're going to do that. Yep. So that's kind of the calibration. That's the calibration part. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put the machine back together now. Okay. You see these tabs here? Yep. They got a They've got to, place have to go in those holes there. Okay. So we'll... Get that down, raise this up, and just, you just slide right in. Okay. Get the top on. And again, it doesn't matter. The green wire, it only goes one spot, but the other two, they can go either way. Correct. Okay. 
and it's a little tricky the first time, maybe just make sure it all slides in properly. Not that tricky. Okay, and there's some, these three pieces here go on inside, those tabs go inside. Okay. See two screws in, now you see why I wanna use a little screwdriver? Yeah. <laughs> And you don't want to crank those down real hard at all, right? Not necessary. Just snug them in there. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll just verify a couple things. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure I can still, okay, I got that all the way over. Mm -hmm. Got one, I'll use one click back. One click, okay. Okay, then this goes on. There's those little, little holes there. Four of those little slots that correspond to four little tabs on there. Yep. Okay. And then do we have to adjust the... the yeah. This goes all the way forward. This here, this is what adjusts your grind size, your dosage rather. Yeah. That goes all the way forward. So before you set things in, all the way forward. Okay. Now we set this to the... the nope. Set the grind setting to zero uh -huh. and send this, the dosage, all the way to the minus. Okay. And now we have this little piece here. That little tab. That, yep. That has to go down into that, that hole there. Hole. Okay. So you got to be kind of careful lining those up, yeah. right? Just line up so, so she goes good. And then kind of wiggle your uh, your get adjustments. To, get the a, gears to mention yeah, there. Yeah, so it drops right in. Okay. okay. That looks good. All right. I'll put these screws back in. Again, these are ones that are really easy to strip, so. So it'll be gentle. Yeah. Did I say that like 18 times? Yeah. Okay. And we'll get a bypass dose on. And then after this, we'll. Uh, and that's got like a little gasket under there that. Uh, mm -hmm. The yeah, bypass dose or yeah, a little shoot. rubber piece. You just want to make sure you. Yeah, right there. Have that kind of lined up. Proper. Yeah. If it starts sticking out on the side or something, that means you wasn't quite in there right and. Just take it off and fix Try it. Again. Yeah. yeah. This is the best part, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turning the screwdriver. Yeah. Okay. okay. And we'll get this back on again. Put so that, that just yeah. kind of press on. Clicks right in. Okay. I'm going to set this grind setting up to about i we'll go for six on this. Yeah, you don't want to be like super fine, right? The first time you're grinding. No, no. Yeah, I mean, you could actually set it to what you think is going to be best. That's okay. fine. You know, put some coffee in there. Got it plugged in. And brew group, right? Yeah. Slide in front of you just for okay. a second. Sorry about that. Got a quick empty of the dump tray. that out. Okay. okay, she's ready to go. Okay. Find my second favorite cup. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> and we'll just push the button. Now what's happening now is that chute's probably pretty empty. All right. So you'll see it'll suck a lot of beans in there. And sometimes it'll take a few pushes of the button for it to fill the chute enough to activate that end switch. So that's normal. So after you do that, okay, coffee beans empty because it right. didn't fill and hit that end switch. So we got to do it again. In fact, I'll just put this down to the minus. A little, I just turn this a little to the minus okay. in dosage so the end switch hits it and it brews a little quicker. Okay. But you may take a few pushes of the button depending on how fine or how coarse the setting is here. Okay. It could be up to four pushes of the button before you actually get it to brew. And now we have coffee. All right. Good. Okay. That is how you uh, clean out the chute on the Gadget Titanium. Thanks for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelottelove.com.